Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Buzz's Kitchen Kitchen Kitchen. another episode a very special one just for you cooking with buzz is gonna make you a holiday turkey so what do we need for that we need one cheap ass turkey yeah and guess what the other thing we want a turkey that's already cooked that's right nobody will know the difference nobody has to know it's just between us. That's what I'm talking about. You stick this baby in the oven and nobody's gonna know the difference. If it's a little dry, then shoot a little injection like you would if you're deep frying into the turkey to get it to juice it up a little bit. That's what I'm gonna do with a bunch of syringes that I use when I used to weight lift professionally. I got a 10 pound turkey. That's all I need. That's all Buzz needs is a 10 pounder. That's all. Just 10 pounds, not one pound less. Yes. Ah, so, we are gonna cook this turkey before anybody gets home. And you can say you've been slaving back and forth, up and down, day and night over this bloody turkey that just took you an hour and a half to cook. First things first, let's oil this pan with a little olive oil. So we just sprinkle a little olive oil in there. Now, with this turkey, what we can do is, is take it out of the net. Everybody that wants to cheat, like Buzz does. We only do the best on Buzz's kitchen. We follow every rule. We don't break rules here. And with the juices and everything inside, we place that baby right there. I like to use a lot of olive oil. Why? Because I speak with my hands. I'm Italian. Now we can use various spices and everything. Now, a lot of everything goes good with a little olive oil, so you just dab a little olive oil in your hand, just a pinch, and you rub that baby. And then you, you gotta stroke this pretty good, you know? You wanna get that, you know, get that turkey in it. Behave, you know? Ah, yeah, get inside there, make sure that you're just feeding that, bracing that turkey, getting everything you need. Yeah, rub it, rub it down. Next thing you want is, I use McCormick's. A little bit of McCormick's, my secret, secret. It's no secret, this is chicken, Monterey, Montreal chicken. So we get a little bit of that in there. And then of course, I use Zender's all purpose seasoning. And we get a little bit of that, that in there as well too. Now of course, anything ain't right without a little black pepper. That's the black pepper for you. And then we want some salt, I use seasoned salt. Yeah, and a little bit of that, not too much. And now we are gonna go with some Italian seasoning. That's right, for my family out there, this is Italian seasoning. I get a little bit of that on there. A little bit in there, a little bit in a hole. Now I just press it in there and kind of just make sure that everything's good on there. Yeah. Now, you listen here. Now, I got something special for you. You're going to be able to cheat everyone that you have at your house if you follow these directions on how to cook a turkey. This is the way to do it. Don't listen to the instructions, hell. You just gotta watch an episode of Buzz's Kitchen! All right, well, what we're gonna do is this, we got two apples that we're gonna put in there. We got a chunk of lemon and celery. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this apple in quarters, four pieces. And this is the only thing that you're stuffing that turkey with. What we have is this, also, why we're gonna stuff this turkey with these apples, the lemon, and the celery. We have the oven preheating to 350 degrees, and we have a chicken boiling cube and a one cup of water that's soaking and absorbing right now that we will pour into this dish for our liquids on making the gravy. And of course, you want to go ahead and Fill this turkey up and see how everything goes. And you only can put a couple apples inside here now. The rest of them are gonna be throwaways, but feed them to the dog or to the kids. But uh, get that lemon in there and uh, shove that 
celery in there. And that's good. Now that's our turkey! Now once our turkey is stuffed, what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna pour this chicken broth right inside on the bottom of the pan. Place our turkey in there, nice and centered as possible. And what we are going to do is cover this. Yes. And that's it! Now what we'll do is this. We will place it in the oven for approximately two and a half hours. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Chef Buzz from the famous show Cooking with Buzz, or other known as in America, Buzz's Kitchen. Yes, and I'm here today to try to see that you are the perfect present for Christmas for that significant other or for somebody you can't stand. That's right. Then you come out and you buy Buzz's Cookbook. Yes, you can find it at any bookstore. Just look for it. Eat me. Eat me. Now, you will be satisfied by knowing that you gave your loved ones a cookbook from Buzz's Kitchen. Now it's nominated by himself, Dom DeLuise. See, he says it right there. See, see that? He even talks about me in his book. Eat this. Now I didn't get any ideas from my book from him. Some of you saying that, and I totally, totally am not saying that. So come to me and order this book. You can order it on Amazon.com or you can order it on my website. That's cookingwithbuzz.com.slash.uk.us. Just order it now. It's easy and it's only $99.99. And here's your turkey, all set and done and ready to eat. Now we have all the fixings here of our turkey, gravy, and we even have corn and mashed potatoes from KFC. And you can't go wrong there because it's cheap and it's already made and nobody's gonna know the difference. Well, anyways, let's taste this turkey and see how she is. Mmm, yeah, I can't tell whether or not that's a cheap pre-cooked turkey or not. So, on these holidays, I hope this helped you out for all your cheapskates out there. Then, stay tuned for more recipes on Buzz's 